So I have the Apple iPhone 12. And I have the Essential Phone PH1. So I think magnets are becoming more integrated into the tech community. Yeah. I think that Apple is doing a really good job of doing it. And then the, I don't think the Essential Phone. The Essential Phone is dead. Yeah. <laughs> so something that's very interesting about this phone is it, it came out, it had a lot of hype behind it and it just immediately died. As soon as the phone Pretty came much. out, there were like there were issues with the battery and the camera. Yeah. But this phone did something really cool, or I guess gimmicky in hindsight, but it, it had all of these magnet peripheral attachments that you could get. The one that I have is the 360 camera, which all it does is it has these golden pins on the back that it attaches to. And then you have a 360 camera, which is really cool, but I mean, it, it does come with its caveats. It, it drains the battery super fast. Yeah. The motor is super loud. The essential phone also had a separate 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Which, which the phone should have had should out of the box anyway. But if anything, it was just kind of to show off the magnet technology. Yeah. So the iPhone 12 has all these different magnetic accessories called MagSafe. The one that I have is the MagSafe wireless charger that clamps onto the back using these metal rings within the phone and it will wirelessly charge your phone. And yeah. I think that's brilliant because, you know, whenever you have a phone plugged in, you're limited to like, okay, the cord is coming out right yeah. here. You have to hold the phone a certain way, but with mm. the magnetic accessory, you can like turn it around and, you know, Yeah, it's more dynamic. It. Yeah, you yeah. can angle it any way that you really want to. So I, I think with your phone, the magnet technology has worked so well in its favor because everything for it is practical. Yeah. Like a, a charging bank, a wallet attack, Attachment. Like with the essential phone, they were like a 360 camera. Yeah. Like, you know, it's a little too ambitious, especially being so ahead of the curve. Well, it's something that most people wouldn't even really think that they even wanted. Yeah. You know, it's like, okay, you have a 360 camera, but like, really, how practical is that thing? You uh -huh. know, you have to carry around this goofy looking 360 camera and how, how many people are actually going to use that yeah and if, like, if what it was would you a, use it for if it was a feature already like pre-baked into the phone was yeah. anyone going to use that anyways and yeah so like another benefit with the magsafe wireless charger is that sometimes when you're using wireless charging if you don't position the phone perfectly on like the coils being on top of like the other coils like it won't yeah. charge it mm -hmm. either at the proper wattage and you'll get a lot of excess electricity going nowhere yeah but this guarantee like it yeah. snaps it into it place. It snaps it it's exactly guaranteed. where it needs to go. One thing that I had thought of whenever I had first heard about MagSafe was, wouldn't it be really cool if a case company came out and made phone cases for, uh, let's say, older iPhones or like Android phones that had magnets built into the case to where you could use the MagSafe on other yeah. phones. Mm -hmm. Because all it is is just like a wireless charger. You know what I mean? It can yeah. it can work on anything. I was looking on Amazon and I found a company called ESR that makes these little magnetic rings that, that glue themselves onto either the phone or like a case and it acts as the magnet. You know what I mean? So you could use all of the MagSafe accessories yeah. on like an Android phone. Now for MagSafe, you do have to have a iPhone 12 and up to get the most efficiency out of it. Because if you use the wireless charger on any other phone it'll only charge it at i think seven watts yeah but on the iphone 12 since they can communicate with each other it'll charge it at 15 watts that's much better but yeah. there's still room for improvement Th that there regard. is so like i would hope in the future they would have a revised model whenever they come out with the new iphones this year that maybe they'll have like wireless charging at maybe 25 or 30 watts yeah you know because like that's totally possible it'd be nice but another thing that comes at like a cost to that is that the heating on uh, the MagSafe is really bad, yep. especially when the phone is under like 50 or so percent. This thing really heats up to charge the phone as fast as possible. Yeah. And, you know, it, I mean, it can get uncomfortable, you know, mm. so maybe they could do something about the heating. Clearly, there's still a long way to go, but we just thought this was a very interesting development in phone technology. Yeah. I'm, I'm really excited to see what, what Apple does, and, and I really hope that yeah. like Samsung and other tech companies will also create their own and kind of compete. Yeah. Because I mean, you're just going to get the you're going to get better tech out of it anyway. Yeah. True. So. Yeah. Um. Let's find a way to wrap it up here. Okay.